Hello all, welcome to Money Text Group. In this video, we are going to learn about the desizing process. One of the most important preparatory process which is getting followed as a primary and foremost wet processing process for a woven fabric. Since there is no sizing process is required for a knit fabric, desizing process is not at all followed in knit wet processing sequence. Desizing in general, grey fabric contains natural impurities as well as size, which is added to the yarn in a weaving preparatory process called sizing to facilitate better trouble free weaving. Normally, size is a combination of list of components such as starch, thin boiling starch, CMC, carboxy methyl cellulose, PVA, polyvinyl alcohol, and vegetable oils and mutton tallow. This size components are applied to the cotton warp yarns to strengthen it before weaving. Even though it's a much necessary process to strengthen the warp yarns, but it's a hindrance for the chemical wet processing. Hence, it is required to be removed. The process of removing size from the gray fabric is called desizing. Methods of desizing. There are three different methodologies for desizing process. Number one, hydraulic methods. Number two, oxidative methods. And number three, novel methods. Under hydraulic methods, there are three different methods of desizing. Number one, rod steeping, one of the oldest method of desizing. Number two, enzymatic desizing. Number three, acid steep desizing. Under oxidative methodology, there are three different methods of desizing. Number one, chlorine desizing. Number two, chlorite desizing. And number three, bromide de desizing. Under novel methods, there are three different methods. Number one, solvent desizing. Number two, low temperature plasma treatment desizing. And number three is desizing 2000. Rod steep desizing. This is the oldest and the cheapest method of desizing. Here no special chemical is used. The cloth is first immersed in warm water at 40 degrees Celsius and then immediately passed through a padding mangle to give 100% expression. The cloth is then piled in a tank and allowed to stand for 24 hours. The microorganisms which are naturally present in water multiply and secrete starch liquefying enzymes which hydrolyzes the starch present in the sized gray fabric. The cloth is finally washed with water once the desizing process is completed. The disadvantage of this desizing methodology is this process requires a large floor space and it's a slow process of desizing involves several hours and there is a danger of mildew attacking and weakening of the cloth if the steeping if the steeping is not properly monitored acid desizing the name acid desizing is self explanatory that the acid is getting utilized here for desizing process commercially dilute sulfuric acid or dilute hydrochloric acid is getting utilized for acid desizing process the acid hydrolyzes the starch present in the sized fabric. The gray fabric is impregnated with the dilute solution of mineral acid that is dilute sulfuric acid or dilute hydrochloric acid using a two bowl or a three bowl padding mangle. The acid impregnated fabric is skewed evenly in the mangle and is batched wet on a roller. The wet roller is covered with polythene film and kept in a room with the roll rotating slowly so that it remains uniformly wet during the desizing action. After the prescribed period of storage, the prescribed period of storage ranges from 1 to 2 hours depending on the type of fabric and amount of size in it. Once the prescribed time of storage is completed then the fabric is washed in a rope washing machine till it is free from acid. The advantages of acid desizing are 
this process is very economical and it is very quicker than the rod steeping and it does not require any specific conditions of temperature and pH and can be done at room temperature. But the disadvantage of this process is that the care must be taken to prevent tendering of the fabric because we are using acid as a desizing agent. Enzyme desizing. Enzymatic desizing is the most commercially followed desizing technique. In enzymatic desizing, enzyme liquefies the starch in the fabric. An enzyme is essentially a protein produced by living cells. It acts as a catalyst in chemical reactions. Enzymes are very specific in action. That is, each enzyme catalyzes only one reaction or one type of reaction. Desizing enzymes are classified mainly into two kinds basis of the source. One type is derived from animal sources and other from vegetable sources. The vegetable enzymes are further classified as malt extract desizing enzymes and bacterial desizing enzymes. The examples of animal desizing enzymes are Viveral, Nova Fermosol and Degoma. Under vegetable enzymes, the malt, the few examples of malt extract desizing enzyme, enzymes are diastophor, diastase and maltostase. Under bacterial enzymes, the examples are radish, bidlish, taka and arsi. As I mentioned earlier, each enzyme catalyzes only one reaction or one type of reaction. That is the outstanding feature of enzymes. That is, the enzymes will be inactive under certain conditions of concentration, pH and temperature. If that particular conditions of concentration, pH and temperature is not maintained, the enzymes will become inactive. Hence, it is called as key lock system. Process conditions of enzymatic desizing. I have provided here three different examples for different three different sources of desizing enzymes, the concentration, temperature and pH. For malt extract desizing enzyme, the concentration need to be utilized between 3 to 20 GPL. The con this concentration depends on the type of fabric used and amount of size present in it. And the temperature need to be maintained is between 50 to 60 degrees Celsius and the pH ranges from 6 to 7.5. For pancreatic enzyme, desizing enzyme, the concentration ranges between 1 to 3 GPL. This need to be utilized at the temperature 50 to 60 degrees Celsius and the pH need to be maintained between 6.5 to 7.5. For bacterial desizing enzyme, 0.5 to 1, per 1 GPL of concentration need to be used at the temperature of 60 to 70 degrees Celsius and the pH can range between 5.5 to 7.5. If this process conditions like concentration, temperature and pH is not maintained properly, then the enzyme will become inactive because enzymes works under key lock system. In general, for a commercial in the commercial industry, the concentration, the concentration of the enzyme is used more because when stronger solution is used, the desizing can be achieved even at five minutes of timeline. Advantages and challenges of enzymatic desizing. As I mentioned earlier, this process is very quick, even the desizing process can be completed within five minutes of time and we can get a uniform desizing and production efficiency is very good. Even the heavy fabrics can be effectively desized and there is no risk of cellulose tendering. The only disadvantage or the only challenge we have in these enzymatic desizing is the enzymes works under key lock system. 
So the concentration, temperature and pH need to be maintained properly to get the effective desizing process. I hope this video is useful and informative. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share. Please post your comments in the comments box. See you all in the next video. Till then, bye from yours, Money Text Group. Bye-bye.